All right, hello, Michael back here. And today's date is 5 4 2021. And a very unfortunate set of events. I came home from work and found a frog upside down in my glue trap that I set out for rodents and invasive pests. So I'm trying to free this guy. I'm being very careful with them, trying to get them out of this glue trap. I don't smoke, so that cigarette was from somewhere else that made its way in the trap. Maybe a rodent carried it there or whatnot, or just blew in there. But, anyways, trying to free this guy done cut around with scissors. I may have to let him go with the piece of the glue trap on his back. I'm probably going to try to run some warm water over the trap. Maybe with some dish soap to help free him up. I'm not sure what kind of frog that is. Not my specialty is identifying frog species. But he's... I was looking at the trap and I was like, wow, had a frog in it. Didn't know he was still alive or how long he had been there. Then I seen him breathing, and I was like, I gotta get this guy, or this gal, out of the trap. So, that's what I'm gonna work on, finish on doing. I'm just taking a quick break here, giving the frog a break from cutting and moving him around. Watch out, stay out the way. Cat's coming to investigate. So, now that me and the frogs both had a little break here, I'm gonna continue to work on getting them out. I was having them upside down, cutting around that glue trap. I was jamming up on the scissors and all that, so. I'm going to end this video and see if I can free this guy. I'm going to let him loose one way or the other with a little piece of the trap, or hopefully get the whole thing off of him. Had a lot of rain, so that's probably what drove him in the building. So, until next time, this is Michael, and I'm out.